So here I'm continuing my little series on hidden features in Blender. Uh, you notice some of these are add-ons and some of these are general capabilities. This is one of the add-ons and this is uh, mesh, edit mesh tools, and you need to turn it on in the preferences and I'm showing that here. And there's a number of panels here and you can see what they do. There's vertex tools and edge tools and face tools and some other general tools. Under the vertex, there's vertex chamfer, which seems to slice off edges and you can choose to remove the edges or keep them. You can set a distance. So it might be useful if you want to say make a box with some reinforced corners just extrude those and make them metallic and keep the rest, uh, say, a wooden material or whatever. And kind of similar to that is this bevel vertices. You can see that does something similar when I move it. You can adjust the number of segments. You can adjust the way it calculates how much is, is beveled. So that's about it. It's fairly straightforward. And if you put in a segment and change the shape, you can see it kind of uh, makes some changes to how the the portion that's built off is. And so if you go in and you change the number of segments, you can see it kind of gives you a rounded edge here. And you can adjust the shape and get some interesting variations there. And there's also extrude vertices. And here you can just, uh, it's kind of obvious, you just extruding vertices, that's about it. Random vertices makes random variations to vertices. There's a factor that you can adjust and then you can set a min and a maximum that affects uh, how much that factor influences the vertices that are selected. So you can see as you drag it out the factor, the intensity gets stronger, and then you come up with some interesting looks. So that's all the vertices tools. Let's go on to the curve tools. And here there's an offset, and it's kind of straightforward. You can adjust how much it's offset. You can change the angle that it's offset. And if I kind of rotate this around, you can see here I'm at 75 degrees. And it's just the angle there that's being swept. And then you have options to simply offset the edge or extrude that edge or just make changes to the, um, the edge itself. So just move the edge. So here I'm deleting some of the object just to show you what this this fillet feature in the faces does. 
fillet edges. You can see as soon as I click that, it changes the corners. Puts a nice smooth curve in the f if you choose enough segments, I guess. And for that, you, you need just one coplanar surface in order to make that happen. You can kind of make those changes outside or inside. This option has some rounded curves that go uh, along the edges that are selected. And here you can adjust the scale, you can adjust the direction, the angle that's used to, to make that curve, the number of segments, and then you can flip them internally or invert them you can make them full circles. So you can use this and then these curves can be used to make some other interesting patterns. You could probably extrude those and make something kind of kind of neat. The next one is this floor plan kind of thing. And that's just kind of extruding this wireframe. And there's a couple different options. You can adjust the amount that it's extruded and then the type of extrusion that it's doing. The default really doesn't look that great, but if you go to some of the others, like this edge net, that looks pretty decent. You can make a wire box that way. And the other one is just to get edges only it just kind of deletes the other fa the, uh, the the faces and then the extrude edges is kind of obvious The bevel edges does sort of what you'd expect. It's a little different from the the one you can uh, get in the edit mode with uh, Control V. And here you can also put in a custom curve for the bevel, number of segments you can change. There's some kind of similar um, options to the other. But you can get some interesting shapes this way. So next let's move on to faces. Let me go back so it's just a cube. So let me go back to a cube and then we can see that the this face inset fillet gives you a nice rounded inset. There are a couple of options on what's occurring at the corner. You want N-gon or you want triangle uh, elements. Uh, the number of slices, you can change the radius, uh, distance. Just two different ways of calculating the same thing. And so there you can get a nice rounded inset if you want it for your object. Next is cut faces. You can see if you select everything, it's going to be similar to a subdivide. But then if you take the object and you only select some of the edge, some of the surfaces and do the cut faces, you can get some interesting patterns. There's kind of a fan cut. And there's another type of cut straight. <laughs> Next is the multi extrude, which is really kind of cool. You can set an offset distance, and whatever surfaces you select, it's going to extrude. Number of iterations. So here you're building something pretty quick, and you can adjust 
the distances that it's extruded in each direction separately, if you'd like. You can put some rotation in there, general x, y, and z. But then also you can do rotations to the surfaces that were originally like normal to x or normal to y or normal to z, which is kind of neat. And then you can uh, adjust scale as well. So here I'm going to make something that kind of tapers at the tips. You can increase the repeat, kind of makes an interesting shape. And then there are some adjustments you can make to give it some variation. This is just, you know, kind of noise that you put in the system to make it not perfectly symmetric. And then you can adjust the random seed. Next I'll go to the split solidify and when all that does is if you have a face it's going to grab it and so it, it kind of separate it from the original and solidify it. So if you want to make a box with a lid that's an easy way to do it. Uh, there's also the option to either delete the original surface or keep it and that's that's about it for that one. Now the next one has some interesting options. If you grab a surface, it can uh, give you different shapes. So here's another feature that you can do on faces, and there's a lot of options. There's bar, there's um, spiked, and you can get a lot of different shapes here. And I'll cycle through some of these and show you what they do. So next is just a simple uh, inset cut on the surface. Next is extrude. Those are pretty obvious and exactly what you would get from either using the I or the E uh, command. Under the utilities, there's also this subdivide, you can get some interesting shapes there. You can make it a fan. If you choose some of the sides, it'll make some interesting shapes. And it's really affecting how it connects to the rest of the object that's not selected, how those, how those cuts are made, either a straight cut or a fan. And there's some variation there that you get. So the merge by distance is the same as if you hit the M key. Um, it just takes vertices that are close to each other and, and merges them if they're within a certain distance from each other. The limit dissolve, here I'm going to go back to this uh, multi-extrude and make an object. And as you see, if you select everything and then scale up this max angle, it's going to gradually dissolve edges. And there's a couple different ways you can delimit. Flip normals is uh, exactly what you get through the, I think it's in the mesh menu.
mesh normal, flip normal. And you can you you, you can't see what it's doing, but if you go to uh, the menu up here, down to uh, show orientation, then it'll show up as blue if the normal's pointing outward and red if it's pointing inward and you want it to be outward and that might affect some of the um, especially like the beveling options and um, the materials how they show up so you want to make sure that they're all blue if you ever um, have some issues maybe look at this face orientation next is triangulate faces which is Kind of obvious you just make triangles the next one tries to quads we'll undo that and then relax let me go back to this multi extrude again select everything and if you click relax you can set a number of iterations and what it's going to do is try to smooth those curves out and that's it that's all all right uh, like or subscribe if you like this kind of thing and uh, want to encourage me to do some more and I'll uh, see you in the next one.